Yeah. Do it you is. just look in there? That's all. <laughs> yes, that's where you need to be okay. looking. I really like it close. I feel like you can appreciate the makeup. <laughs> you want to come that close? <laughs> that can, be can you cool. imagine? Hi guys! <laughs> I think it was way too close. My teeth are not that perfect for that. I'm actually looking really cute right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I just feel like you can't appreciate the cuteness from this far. Delete all of that footage. Let's start this again. If you like it, put a thumbs up. Yeah. Do not put a thumbs down. <laughs> can I say that? I shouldn't be looking down, right? No. Five in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> Still in the frame. <laughs> Leave me a call. call <laughs> We're gonna do a haul video. <laughs> no. Chrithika Bella, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to do a haul, but before we begin, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Do not give me a thumbs down, how about that, okay? Um, so let's just hop right into it. It's gonna be a Sephora, MAC, um, Topshop, and an H&M haul. I keep looking this way because that's where the stuff is. Um, so let's get right into it. The first store is the MAC store. So I only got three things from here because I really only wanted three things. So just to preface, the I'm going to do the, the makeup stuff and skincare stuff first. Um, and the reason why I bought all of this stuff right now, it was like, I was thinking of it, it was supposed to be like an investment. I just got married in August and these are all products that my makeup artist used for all of my events. And I just really loved how my makeup ended up looking. So I thought, let's look cute all the time, not just for your wedding. Okay. So these are, these are, these are the goodies. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I got was the lip pencil in the color cork. And this is just to line your lips first and then to fill it in before you put on the lipstick. It helps things last longer and it just defines your lips. The second thing was the matte lipstick in the color Whirl. And the last color, and it's in the color Taupe in 616. Um, so this was also like a replacement, if you will, of Persistence, if you've heard of that color. This is the exact same color as Persistence. They've just discontinued it for whatever reason. Um, okay, that was all for the MAC stuff. Let's get into the Sephora haul. So I got a box, people. <laughs> I don't want to have the address. <laughs> Here, okay, so some of the stuff I've actually used already. Um, I've kept it in the packaging. Um, and some of the stuff I haven't used, but like I said, uh, my makeup artist used it on me for my wedding day, my reception, my Mindy, my photo shoots, and e all of the above. Um, okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys was the Laura Mercier um, Translucent, the loose setting powder. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you guys, this is not the first time I bought this. This is the second time. The first time, I didn't really like it, although I used the whole dang thing. Because I felt like it made me look a little ashy, okay? I'm really brown, and so what I'm thinking with this um, powder is my makeup artist, she mixed it with the Makeup Revolution um banana powder so i'm gonna mix it and see how like with hers it didn't i didn't show up actually so i'm gonna try mixing it and see how that works so there's that um so this i've also are like already started using it's the clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion and it comes with the pump it's for a very dry to dry combination it looks like this okay so the next um item is the nars natural radiant long wear foundation so i know with the rest i said i'm gonna do a cutaway but i needed to take this out for you guys so this is the foundation and usually so my cousin used to buy this and i used to use this all the time off of her because let's be honest she's a guinea pig um and so what i i told her like if you're gonna order if we're gonna get this i want one with a pump because i don't like doing all of that's too much for me 
So this actually comes with the pump. The pump makes life so much easier, people. Um, okay, and this is in the color Tahoe. So this is like my true, true color. So what I will do is if I get darker in the summer, which I do, and if I get lighter in the winter, which I do, we mix it with a lighter foundation and a darker foundation. Um, and typically what she used on me was the Milani. And I believe she used tan for the lighter color and darker color she used amber. Um, I need to pick those up, but just a heads up. But, um, when this it comes to makeup, you're gonna have to mix. Nothing comes pre-done 100% of the time. If you do, like God bless you, like that makeup line is awesome. But for the most part, with all of our different ranges of skin tones, with brown girls, black girls, colored girls, like you have to have, we all have different pigments. We all have like different undertones. So you're going to have to mix a little. Um, the next one is, so I was super excited to try this out. And I actually only used this for my wedding and for my reception. Um, and it was the photo finish Smashbox, the original primer is the photo finish one. It's smooth and it blurs and look at the packaging people like has like all like all of the stuff here it says our number one primer it's a new look um it says there's 10,000 plus five star reviews online 93% saw a smoother skin 93% saw blurred imperfections and 95% saw the makeup goes on flawlessly they're also saying it is for all skin types and to use smooth over the clear moisturized skin. So yeah, Smashbox people. Okay, the second or the fifth thing I got was the Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist. So they literally tell you to hold the bottle eight to 10 inches away from your face and then mist your whole face. Um, and then the other, I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna explain why. Other setting spray was the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's a long lasting makeup setting spray. So it, it's up to 15 hours of wear, lightweight, temperature control technology. So I've actually been talking about both of these because she used both on me for both my um, special days. I think she, halfway through, she set me with this after the foundation and then after everything, she set me with this to make sure it all stayed <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> And next we have the Tatcha the Silk Canvas. And this one basically it's uh here I'll show you guys. I've already started using this one. Yeah, I know, it does not look that cute. Um, and then it comes with one of these kind of it's like a scooper digging thingy where you literally go like this and you can take it up until this line and then you literally put it on your four different corners of your face and then you just rub it in as if it was a cream but you do it after moisturizing and before your foundation and it basically seals in your moisturizer and all of the different um, priming products if you will and it keeps out the rest of it your, your makeup without it getting into your pores and it sort of acts as a silk canvas so all of your makeup goes on really smoothly um, and it makes it try to tries to give you like a flawless finish um, the next thing was the NC 47 so Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation from MAC. And I got this at Sephora. Don't ask me why. And so like I said, it was in the NC47. So this is not my color because you might be like, girl, you use Tahoe for your foundation and that's your counterpart. No, this is going to be my bronzer. FYI, I don't know if anybody else found this hard to open, but this thing right here, you just press it. Just saying. And so I just literally do it right here, forehead, down here, and across my nose. We're almost done, people. We're getting through this. And the next thing was, okay, so I've heard about this since I was in high school, but I've never bought it because I was just like, okay. Um, but it's the NARS blush in the color Orgasm. And she actually used this on me for my proposal. Um, I didn't, I thought it was an issue people. I didn't know I was getting proposed to, but, um, so for my proposal for majority of my issues, so I'm pretty sure she used this color and for, I think my Mandy, this is the prettiest color 
and she said it's very flattering almost on every skin tone there's that and the last makeup item is drum roll please it's the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette eyeshadow palette <laughs> I was gonna say eyeshadowing it's the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe I'm actually just gonna open this up and show you guys what kind of color range there is because I feel like there's a lot of palettes out there with a lot of different collabs but um I don't know about y'all but I'm not trying to buy every single palette that's out there that's too much um so you ideally want to look for something that has a, a range of colors including the browns or whatever oh I love that she said this palette is dedicated to all my lovely subscribe loving subscribers XO Jacqueline so freaking cute and how pretty is that right so you can literally use this on a bunch of different looks um even for like the neutrals are so good for like everyday stuff like the ones up here and down here and then the ones down here you can use it for special occasions and uh yeah and can we just talk about the packaging a little bit like white is super cute and like this is not gonna get dirty hopefully so that's that with all of the um makeup products let me just throw this all in here let's see how much i care <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay, so now we can get into the accessories. So that's from H&M. H &M. Okay. Actually, I'm wearing one of the earrings right out of the bag. I don't know if you can tell. Let me get right close to the camera. Like that. That's from one of these. Okay, so I just got a bunch of hoop earrings. A lot of hoop earrings, actually. Um that's really in right now so the first package I got so that was the first um, set if you will the stuff that's missing here is the stuff on my ears so I got that so one of them this one is a thicker gold still a hoop um, this is a thinner one but it's also bigger and then this has stones the rhinestones on it and this was $17.99 I also got one of these standard like you know those standard hoop ones they vary in thickness if you can tell some of the hoops are way thicker than the other ones um but again just thought I'd for variety I don't try showing this to you guys again so this is like way thicker than the, these ones down here um and this was $12.99 which I think is a really good deal as long as you take care of those and the last hoops that I got the are these ones and it comes with the tortoise like a darker tortoise a, a lighter tortoise and like two gold ones in different sizes and this was $14.99 and the last accessory I got just came out of its packaging was this super dainty gold necklace with a circle pendant and actually it would look really good with this earring but I think it'd just be super matchy matchy and this was $6.99 so the reason why I got three different packs was I actually really wanted these earrings and these ones only came with that one pack because I liked if you check these out they come with they're like a stud and then the hoop is facing out this way um, and I really really wanted the tortoise because I've seen so many girls wear them and I just I felt like I've never tried it first of all so I wasn't sure if that would look good on me um, so I wanted to try that out and then obviously these I feel like you can't go wrong no matter what size it is like you can just throw it on even with a pair of like sneakers and a tracksuit and have like a small pair of hoops and you're gonna still look put together um so there's that from H&M so that was all for the accessories and for clothing I went to the Hudson Bay and uh, I only got two things, guys, because uh, Topshop is not uh, cheap. <laughs> That's all I got. So I'm going to try my best to actually link these items below. But um, 
If not, just go to your local top shop or the bay and see if they have it. So I got a regular, regular schmegular <laughs> white long sleeve. And this was from Topshop and it was $39 in a size four. I'm usually between a size four and a six. Um, so there's that and actually this blazer as well. Um, it has like this like hot, like turquoisey, shiny color. Um, on the inside and this was a size six as well sorry that was a size four this is a size six and this was $95 okay guys thank you guys so much this concludes my haul um, please leave me a comment below on which one was your favorite product or if you've actually used any of the products um, let me know what you, your thoughts are and I uh, can't wait to see you guys on the next take care and have a great week bye now